told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey To check your reflection in the elevator mirror smoothing your light brown hair and adjusting your navy suit. You had a big presentation today and you wanted to look professional and confident. You had worked hard to get to where you were, a marketing executive at one of the most prestigious firms in the country. You had also worked hard to forget your past, the one that involved Jimin, your ex-husband and the love of your life. You still remember the day you had left him, leaving behind a note that said you were sorry, but you couldn't do this anymore. You had never given him a proper explanation, never told him why you had just disappeared from his life, taking with you a piece of his heart. You had tried to move on, to rebuild your life without him. You had moved to a new city, changed your last name and focused on your career. You had also given birth to his twin babies, a boy and a girl, who were now three years old. He didn't know about them and you had never told him. You loved your children more than anything and they were the only reason you smiled these days. They were also the reason you avoided relationships, preferring to reward yourself to being a single mother and a successful career woman. The elevator dinged, signaling that you had reached the top floor of the towering glass and steel skyscraper that housed the company where you now worked. You stepped out of the elevator clutching your briefcase and heading towards the reception desk. You greeted the receptionist, a friendly young woman named Nara, who smiled back at you. Good morning, Vyan. You look great today. Thank you, Nara. You are very kind. Are you ready for your presentation? I heard it's very important. Yes, I'm ready. It's for a new client, a big one. I hope I can impress them. I'm sure you will. You're one of the best in the business. You smiled modestly. Thank you for saying that. You were about to walk past the reception desk when you saw him. He was leaning against the desk chatting with Nara. He looked just as dashing as you remembered with his blonde hair and piercing eyes. He seemed genuinely surprised to see you, his eyes widening in recognition. Vyan, he stammered, his voice stinked with disbelief. You felt your heart plummet to your stomach, as if you had been punched in the gut. You cleared your thought, trying to calm your racing pulse. You forced yourself to look at him calmly, as if he was just another stranger. Jimin, the tension between you both was palpable like an electric charge in the air. It had been years since you had parted ways, but the memories and emotions loaded back. You stared at each other for what seemed like an eternity, neither of you breaking eye contact. Nara looked from one to the other, sensing something was wrong. Mm, do you know our new CEO? She asked awkwardly. You couldn't believe it was him, Jimin, your ex-husband and now CEO boss. How could this be? What was he doing here? You tore your gaze away from Jimin's and turned to Nara. 
Yes, you said coldly. He's my ex-husband. As weeks turned into months, you and Jimin found yourself working closely together, your paths intertwining due to your professional roles. At first, your interactions were strained, filled with polite pleasantries and superficial conversations. But beneath the surface, both were haunted by the secrets you had kept from him. One day, after a particularly grueling board meeting, you found yourself alone with Jimin in his office. You couldn't delay the inevitable any longer. Taking a deep breath, you began. Jimin, we need to talk. He looked up from his paperwork, concern etched into his handsome features. About what? You hesitated, your heart pounding. About why I left you all those years ago. His eyes bore into yours, a mixture of curiosity and trepidation. Vyan, I've wondered about that for years. Please tell me. You walked over to the window, gazing at the city. You felt his presence behind you, his warmth and his scent. You turned around to face him, tears welling up in your eyes as you confessed. I was pregnant, Jimin, and I couldn't bring myself to tell you. I didn't want to burden you with a family you might not have wanted. He gasped, his expression shifting from confusion to shock. Pregnant? But you never told me. How could you do this to me, to us? You sob, your voice breaking. I'm sorry, Jimin. I was scared and confused. I didn't know what to do. I thought you would hate me for ruining your life. You had such big dreams and ambitions and I didn't want to hold you back. He shook his head, disbelief and anger in his voice. You didn't trust me enough to let me decide for myself. You didn't think I loved you enough to support you no matter what. You made the biggest decision of our lives without me. You nodded, your guilt overwhelming you. I know I made a mistake, Jimin, a terrible mistake and I've regretted it every day since then. He took a step back, his eyes searching yours for answers. What happened to our child? Is he or she alive? Where are they? Do they know about me? I have so many questions, Ryan. Please don't shut me out again. I had twin babies, I mean, our twin babies. They're Three years old now. Jimin felt a surge of emotion wash over him. Shock, anger, pain, confusion and curiosity. He tried to process what you were saying but it seemed impossible. You looked down at your hands, unable to meet his gaze. You felt a pang of guilt and regret knowing you had hurt him deeply. I'm sorry, Jimin. I'm so sorry. I was scared, okay? I was young and scared. I didn't know how you should react or what you'd want. I didn't want to burden you with a responsibility you weren't ready for. 
I thought it would be better for everyone if I just left. Jimin shook his head in disbelief. Better for everyone? How could you think that? How could you rob me of the chance to be a father to my own children? How could you keep them away from me for so long? You wiped away a tear that escaped your eye. You knew he had every right to be angry, but you hoped he would understand your reasons. I know it sounds selfish, Jimin, but I was trying to protect them and you. You had your dreams, your career, your life. I didn't want to run dead for you. I wanted you to be happy. Jimin felt a twinge of sadness as he remembered his past with you. You had been in love or so he thought. You had met in college and had planned to get married after graduation. But then after some months of marriage you disappeared without a trace, leaving him heartbroken and confused. He had searched for you for months but had no luck. He had eventually moved on with his life but he never forgot you. He looked at you now and saw the same woman he had fallen in love with but also a stranger who had kept a huge secret from him. He felt a mix of resentment and longing, anger and love. He reached out to touch your face gently, making you look at him. He saw the fear and sorrow in your eyes and felt a surge of compassion. Vyan, he said softly. I don't hate you. I could never hate you, but I need to know more. I need to know everything. You nodded slowly, feeling a glimmer of hope. Maybe there was a chance for you both to heal your wounds and start over. You took his hand and squeezed it lightly. Okay, I'll tell you everything. You began to tell him the story of your twin children, how you found out you were pregnant with twin after you left him, how you gave birth to a boy and a girl, how you named them Jiha and Jihu, how you raised them with the help of your parents and how they grew up to be smart and sweet and beautiful. You showed him pictures of them on your phone. You told him about their personalities, hobbies and dreams. You told him everything you could think of, hoping he would feel a connection to them. Jimin listened intently, feeling a wave of emotions as he learned about his children. He felt awe and wonder as he saw their faces for the first time. He felt pride and joy as he heard about their achievements. He felt love and affection as he heard about their Quirks. He also felt regret and sorrow as he realized how much he had missed out on their lives. He felt guilt and shame as he wondered how they would react to him. He felt fear and anxiety as he wondered if they would accept him. He looked at you with gratitude and admiration. You had done an amazing job raising your children on your own. You had given them everything they needed. You had loved them unconditionally. He also looked at you with hope and desire. He still loved you. He never stopped loving you and he wanted to be with you again. He leaned in and kissed you softly, making you gasp in surprise. Vyan, he whispered against your lips. I love you and I love our children. I want to meet them. I want to be a part of their lives. I want to be a family with you. 
You felt a surge of happiness as you heard his words. You wrapped your arms around him and kissed him back, feeling his warmth and sincerity. Jimin, I love you too and I want that too. But we have to be careful. We have to take it slow. We have to make sure they're ready for this. Jimin nodded in agreement. He knew it wouldn't be easy. He knew there would be challenges and obstacles. He knew there would be questions and doubts. As your hearts began to mend the wounds of the past, you and Jimin embarked on a journey of rediscovering your love while navigating the challenges of co-parenting your secret twin children. You and Jimin smiled as you watched your children play in the backyard. You had come a long way since you reunited and you couldn't be happier. You had introduced your children to him gradually, making sure they felt comfortable and secure. You had assured them that both of you loved them equally and that you wanted to be a family. You and Jimin love rekindled stronger than ever. You had renewed your vows in a small ceremony. Surrounded by your children and close friends, you had apologized for your mistakes, forgiven each other and vowed to never let go again. You walked over to join your children who greeted you with hugs and kisses. Mommy, Daddy, look what we made for you, Jihu said excitedly holding up a drawing. You took the drawing and gasped in delight. It was a picture of your family smiling and holding hands. Underneath it was written, we love you. You hugged Jihu and kissed her cheek. This is beautiful, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Jimin took the drawing and admired it. He hugged Jiha and ruffled his hair. This is awesome, buddy. You're very talented. Thank you, Daddy. He looked at you and smiled. He wrapped his arms around your waist and pulled you close. He kissed you softly on the lips. You smiled back at him. You snuggled into his chest and kissed his chin. You looked at your children who were giggling and hugging each other. You felt a surge of happiness as you realized how lucky you were. You had found your happily ever after. Your story became a testament to the power of forgiveness, redemption, and the enduring strength of love. In the end, your love story was not one of loss and regret, but of hope, healing, and the beauty of second chances. The scars of your past had faded, replaced by the warmth of a love that has stood the test of time. Life's unexpected twists can reveal the strength of love, for in truth's embrace, we find second chances and create a future brighter than our past. But if I